Well, it's time to get a bite on the Texas bucket list, and this week we are in Huntsville to get some chicken fried steak for breakfast at the Cafe Texan. Since 1936, Cafe Texan has been sitting on the corner of the square in Huntsville, and it's considered the oldest cafe in Texas. Honestly, one of the nicest places in Huntsville. Those of us who've been here for many years, uh, we can appreciate what we have now. When they approached me, I said, a cafe in Huntsville, tell me more. Tom Mangus isn't from the Lone Star State, but his expertise was sought out by owner Vance Howard when he bought the building Cafe Texan calls home in 2020. The cafe was a victim of COVID and shut down for three years before being totally revamped by Howard. But some locals wanted the old Cafe Texan back. Did you guys get any folks who were like, I can't believe you did this to the Cafe Texan? A lot, a lot. We've thought about making t-shirts to say we love the Cafe Texan and making equal as many that says you ruined the Cafe Texan. <laughs> With a whole new look and a new attitude towards taste buds, Tom got a chance to make the cafe his own with a few guidelines. Vance asked me to keep a couple of things. One, he said I always want to be proud of it. Two, he promised me that I'd always be having fun, which is unheard of in my business. And three was we would have chicken fried steak. Nothing but stuff from scratch here at the Cafe wow. Texan. That's right. Very nice. More on the chicken fry in a few. Before I could get to the meal, I couldn't help but notice the museum connected to the cafe. This is actually a not-for-profit, so that has the museum next door, which is always open when the cafe is open, free to anyone who wants to come see it. And then all the proceeds from the cafe go to local, state, and regional charities. We knew it was going to be a small space, so everything has a very specific space. Savannah Davis is the museum curator, and this free museum has some amazing artifacts, like historical samurai suits, signed letters from George Washington and Davy Crockett, gladiator masks, and even Napoleon's actual dueling pistols. They did not want to sell us those because they didn't believe that we were a real museum at first. <laughs> So where do you get Napoleon's pistols from? From France. Really? <laughs> An auction house, yeah. Wow. Yeah, most of the stuff in here we get from Sotheby's or Christie's auctions. I knew the owner, but I didn't know he had all that. After appreciating the artifacts, my appetite was built up and ready for breakfast. Luckily for me, you can order chicken fried steak to start your day at Cafe Texan. Okay. Meat for breakfast, baby. Yeah. Tom and Carson got things started with the beef. So this is an eight ounce cube steak. It's, it's already as tender as can be. It's already been pounded out, passed through the knives. And then we bread it with our seasoned breader here. And then it goes in the buttermilk. And then we're gonna put it back in the breader. This isn't a, a frozen chopped form product. It's sure. actual whole muscle beef. Best quality we can get, right, for sure. We're gonna fry it at 350 degrees for exactly three minutes. So we use cream gravy and we make it with clarified butter, all purpose flour, fresh cracked pepper, kosher salt, and heavy cream. A few fried eggs and haystack potatoes complete the ensemble. Wow, that's the breakfast of champions right there. <laughs> and don't forget the biscuit. That is a huge biscuit. Oh, but we're not done yet. Tom wanted to showcase the sweeter side of breakfast with their candy bar French toast. We have a mascarpone and cream cheese mixture that we put Milky Way bars in. So you get four pieces of bread made into two sandwiches. Yeah, made into two sandwiches? Right. Never heard French toast and sandwich mm -hmm. together. It's almost like a Monte Cristo would be, right? With all the goodies inside. This is better. I wait till I tell my kids I went to a place that has Milky Way candy bar sandwiches. <laughs> And you get to call it breakfast. Yeah. That's even better. It's yeah. even better. Once the toast is grilled up, it gets plated with spicy meat sticks. So we're going to do jalapeno bacon today with this. So that's our super spicy jalapeno bacon. It looks a little dark, but that's because it's cured. Okay. It just has that coloring to it. We fresh whip our cream every morning. Oh, wow. A little bit of powdered sugar on top, just in case it wasn't sweet enough already. <laughs> and we're going to put a nice sploosh of mint, and we that's, sell that to our that's guests. That's my kind of happy face right there. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, when it comes to breakfast in Texas, chicken fried steak is always acceptable. So we're gonna start with that, and I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm just gonna cut off a piece of that and go to town because who doesn't like chicken fried steak for, for the first meal of the day? That looks fantastic. You gotta be careful, because the gravy can get anywhere. Well, the breading on that chicken fried steak is fantastic. Crunchy and delicious. That gravy is out of this world. And the tenderness of that steak, I think Elvis would sing about that one. I'm not a big uh, connoisseur of chicken fried steaks, I will say, but I do love it. <laughs> I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna cut all this up, combine it all together, because who doesn't like a little runny egg gravy? Oh, oh, that's gonna be dangerous. It was phenomenal. We've had a lot of chicken fried steaks across the state of Texas, and this one is right up there. There's a, a lot of meat and 
Not too much excess uh, batter. Let's know what this chicken fried say. We're gonna move on to breakfast dessert. It smells like French toast with a candy bar. Usually I'm not a sweets for breakfast kind of guy, but this is good. Well balanced, and that milky way comes through in a big way on French toast. Bringing even more balance to the force of the French toast, the jalapeno bacon. You mix it in with that jalapeno bacon, and it's the perfect combination. French toast bacon, French toast bacon. It's like a sweet, savory symphony. It's just like the perfect amount of spicy where it goes really well with like eggs and hash browns and everything else. Well, whether it's chicken fried steak for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or a sweet, savory breakfast, coming to the Cafe Texan in Huntsville is definitely well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. To come here and have not only the service in this beautiful building and see our museum, the food is lights out. It's delicious. It's, uh, you're not going to be disappointed. Well, thanks for watching this segment of the Texas Bucket List. To see more, be sure you subscribe to our channel. And to see full episodes, become a member. In the meantime, you can also shop our store at the Texas Bucket List store and studio.